Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Inks and I'm from IGS Electronics and today we're going to be playing with ET200SP. Another line of uh, Siemens uh, I don't know, PLCs, whatever you want to call it. And uh, ET200SP in most cases, well to at least the cases I've seen, are used for remote I.O. Something away from the PLC. We can have a nice compact uh, system where you can add your I.O.s and cards and all sorts of things. And, uh, but also it comes as well with its own PLC if you, if, you, if you wish to have it. So you can buy the PLC ET200 SP PLCs. Then when I say PLC, it's got its own CPU. You, know, you, don't, have, uh, you don't have to have a, a, an ex uh, external PLC for it. In our case, we're not going to be doing that. Probably in the future, we're going to be checking it out once I get it. And so at the moment, I don't have it. I used to have it, but now I don't have it. So uh, we're going to be uh, connecting this, uh, this interface unit in here, which is basically the most common one that everyone uses. Easy 200 SP interface unit. We're gonna uh, uh, talk about a little bit about the product. Talk about the base unit. A little bit of cards. What the cards mean. Some of the some of the things that I've learned, which I've done quite extensive research about it. Because there is this family ET 200 SP family is huge. There is so much for it, and many different things was confusing the living life out of me. So I'll be trying to show you, teach you as much as much as I can possibly learn. I'm by no, by no means a massive expert on this, but uh, uh, everything I learn, I'll put on a video for you guys to have a look at it so uh, you can uh, learn with me. So yeah, so the first video today, what we're gonna be doing today is uh, mainly to assemble our first, uh, what's our assembly? We need several cards, get it all configured in a TI portal, get a communications with our CPU, and in the next video, we're, in the next videos, we're gonna continue as we always do with uh, a, a um, uh, I don't know, uh, wiring, and then checking out all the other cards, how to wire the cards, how to the cards, how to uh, um, well, wire the cards, which I said already. So, uh, and things like that. So, as usual, what we do. So, yeah, that's what we're doing today. So, without further ado, let's get started. All right. So, first things first, let's have a look at this unit itself. It fits directly straight onto the dinner ride, problem free, and it uh, usually comes with uh, this Ethernet card with it. When usually when you buy this interface unit, you it comes it comes with this Ethernet card for it. But sometimes sometimes they come without it. I haven't seen one, but sometimes they do. So do pay attention. To, so this card in here has got a different number than from the actual unit. It's got a, a 24 volt uh, connector down there. It goes in, and it also can come out to carry on to the next. Uh, line where it needs to be from there on that's it so from there on you have a, um, a couple of diagnostic lights the uh, diagnostic lights in here and uh, there's a maintenance light there's error light and obviously there's a run light as usual so uh, and from there on as you can see we have a uh, base these 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 guys in here these are bases so uh, and as you can see this these these four is looks different to that one the reason is because these these is called a part of the series of bo15 this is part. This is part of the series of BF, B, BU20. Can you mix them? Yes, definitely, hundred percent. You can mix them. And then you can see in there, it's uh, and obviously there's more. There's more different types of uh, base units. So we'll be checking them out, possibly, most likely in the future. I think there's more. I'm pretty sure. Don't quote me on it. So I'm pretty sure there is more different types. So we're going to be checking them out as we progress. So and another thing where we need to pay. Uh, you probably have noticed already. One is white. There's some white ones and there is a, a, I don't know, dark grey, dark blue, whatever you want to call it. So the reason, the difference between these white ones and uh, uh, dark grey ones, white ones is a power unit, it's a power distribution based unit, what they call it. So uh, if you worked with the standard PLCs before, you probably have noticed that sometimes outputs and inputs, they're like I said, they, they can have separate uh, separate supplies. So, so like one section would be one section inputs would be supplied with one power supply, and next section of inputs could be supplied with another power supply. So that's what this is. So this 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 uh, white unit is 100% quiet. This is the the necessity. This is something that you have to do. So uh, to put in as a first first unit. So uh, from there on, it will distribute the power to across all these cards. And to break, as you can see, I put another one, not uh, another unit in here because I will be classing that as my next section of different power supply because I want different power supply to carry on, but as well for demonstration purposes for you to understand. This section in here, so let's let's class this one, two, and three in here. This will be classified by one power supply, and from there on it's gonna be my next power supply. In the end, as you can see, this one in here, this is it literally I've got several of those. It looks like that. It's called servo. Servo is something that's required to end 
the whole setup. And that is it. We'll be talking about much more deep in power in a in, uh, in, in depth about the wiring and upcoming videos, but that's regarding when you assemble it, what these things mean. Sometimes you can have cards like this, so uh, these are these are bigger. So these, I believe, these comes this. Blah, 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 blah. I don't even know. This is, I don't know which. Uh, I, I think it's the BU15 family as well. It's just extended. We're going to be talking about those in a little bit in the future. What is uh, so uh, useful when you have the extended parts of it? As you can see, you can have uh, 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 power, output, uh, power outputs in there. But we're going to be checking that out a little bit in the future. Sometimes you will see them like that, and sometimes you're going to see the, the short, short version. There's a, there is a different, a different way to wire these. So uh, there's a, especially when you look at the, let's say, the uh, digital inputs eight, eight channel, and there's a digital input sixteen channel. They wire differently. We'll be checking those out in upcoming videos. So now that we know that, usually how they join, just push them together, boom, and then push all your cards in till, till they all click in, and that is it. So the card is uh, the whole unit now is ready to be uh, uh, configured within ATIA portal. So what we're going to do in here, we are going to connect our Ethernet cable in here that is going to be connected directly to the PLC right here. This guy in here is going to be connected to a PLC right down there. So now let's jump into our portal and get this bad boy configured. And before we get started, let's quickly have a look. I powered, powered the unit up. As you can see, I have error light flashing and it's uh, always uh, run flashing because uh, nothing is, has been uh, set up yet. And as you can see down here, we have a diagnostic lights uh, flashing in here. If these are flashing, that means they are not being set up. There is no communications with the CPU or with the interface unit itself. And also you have a lights down here, which are the power lights. As you can see, one, two, and three, our power lights are on, but my uh, power light in here, as you can see, is not on because remember what I said this power unit now is no longer con this this power in here no longer continues and this requires a new power so we need to wire it in here we look at that in the next video so just to give you a sort of understanding what are those lights in here if these are not on which means the, the unit itself is not powered it possibly these, these can be solid and they are they could be saying that hey okay I am communicating properly but I am not powered which that light would indicate what that is so uh, so yeah I haven't done that so let's jump into your pool all right, there we are. So this is going to be the continuation from our previous video that we have. We have a CPU in here. We got a HMI in here. So what we need to do. Let's go into. Usually you would be you would be in a window like this. So let me just do that. And, uh, so usually we're in a window like this. So what we need to go. We need, well, first things actually. What we need to do. We need to give the address to our unit. So for we need to go in accessible nodes. Search for it. As you can see, my uh, ET200 SP doesn't have the address, and this is where we, this is how you need to you need to give him an address first before he can even start to do any functioning. So let's show, which should appear right here in our notes. Yes. So going to online and diagnostics. From there on, we go into functions, and then we go into assign IP. So even if there is IP, and if you have persons you knew and things like that, do full factory reset. I, I promise you, you will not regret it because even if you purchase and if, if there is some data from the previous CPU has been loaded into it, it will mess with your system. So always make sure you do the factory research, just click factory research and, and it will go back to its factory and you can start again. So uh, in here we're going to do 192, 192, not 182, 192, uh, 92. Oh my god, I'm literally losing it. 192168. And that's going to be a subnet of 0. And we're going to give him address 21. Then our sub mask is going to be a 255. Remember, these are your choosing addresses. So this is how I this is my network. Your network could be different. So let's click assign. And uh, once it's going to say it's done, so that's done. So let's go double check, make sure that has happened. So if you go again for the search, let's have a look at it. And there we go, our unit now, accessible device. And he got, he's got the device type and he's also have his home now, which is his address. Good, now we can talk to him. So after that, so let's go into the device view and find our hardware. So let's go in here and I type in our uh, 1.56AU, 
1556AU and that was 01. 01. Let's have a look at it. So no, no. It's this one, right? 6AU010 BN0. Yes, that is correct. So let's drag it in. Next thing, what we need to do, we need to uh, uh, assign it to what PLC is going to be, what con select the controller pretty much, who you're going to be talking to, is this guy in here, so that's there, so let's click that, and there we go, automatically assigned for, and next thing we need to do, we need to give him the address, remember we gave him the IP address, so by clicking this guy in here, little I, we're going to show you what the basic addresses are, so we're going to go in here, we're going to we can change it in here, we can change it in, in the settings as well, we can show in a minute, so let's go 21. And that is done there. The next thing what we need to do, if you look at the if you look at the test this two port, we need to select which we in, in topology, we need to select which port is talking to the CPU and which port at with CP within CPU. So R's R's P1R. So alright, so let's go that. So as you can see, that's my I know I'm talking to, to this port in here. We're gonna talk a bit more, quite a bit more in extension for it with topology in future. So I haven't done that, so uh, then we can go into the view in here, whatever. You double click on it and it will take you straight into the uh, device view. So from there on, we need to start add our cards. Oh, not meant to do that. So let's go and see if we can find our first card. So uh, uh, actually, well, what I am going to do, I'm going to start with the fourth card, which is a 1316BH00. And I'll show you, tell you in a minute why. 1316BH00. So let's see if he can find it. So, yeah, that's the 16BH. Yeah, that's the one. So, as we drag in, for the first card will always be white, all right, which is going to be our power base unit. So, uh, but I need that in a fourth. So, and even if I put this as a gray, I don't know how to change it. Uh, unless anybody knows how to change from gray to white, let me know in comments below. But this is how I do it. I just drag it. And then I do it again. So, we do need to make sure if you have a white, that the system does know which one, where the whites are. Otherwise, the unit will come up as error. So, uh, and then we're going to be 1316BF01. So, uh, 1316BF01. Uh, no. 6BF010AA0. 0AA0. Come on. Oh, there it was. The right there come on stop searching stop searching yeah whatever there it is so uh, and let's do that and as you can see that made white again so that's how i uh assign a white i'm not sure how can you change the base unit i just couldn't figure it out so so it was easier for me to drag it across so that's how i did it so let me get all the rest of them done we'll be right back so there we are so uh as soon as you start uh, placing cards after the first one, they will all come out as gray. So, uh, and then you continue. So that's how I got my separation with the whites in here. So hopefully we've done everything right. So what we're going to do in here, it's, that's all the cards has been added. So we know how to do that. So, oh, no, 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 not pumping in yet. Not pumping in yet. Let's cancel that one. No, but... So here we go. So one thing I want to show you is that when you compile it, it will add this servo in here, which is required. So what uh, right in the end for you, so you don't have to do that manually. So if you want to change your IP address, just click these two uh, units in here, and you can get to the change your IP address if you wish as well. And there's more options in here for interface options, media redundancy, real-time settings, and things like that. If you wish to play with them and require, they are there. For now, for this video, that will do. So having done that, so go and let's go into the network queue and load all of this setup into the CPU. Compile it, load it, and if all go well, everything should stabilize. All the lights should come on. And in here we go. So in is happy. So uh, everything is working. And that, so let's just go back in here, finish, is how we get our SP 
uh, ET200 SP going. So, uh, where are we? There we are. So, on that, we'll do it for this video, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, that is helping you out, getting your system going. And uh, in the next video, we're going to start cracking on with all the wiring and checking out uh, how to uh, 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 addressing works, how to get to addresses and bits and pieces that we always do. Thank you much for watching. If you liked the video, don't forget to smash that like. Do subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'll see you next video.